I think when most people think about the North Shore of Kauai, the first thing that comes to their mind is the beautiful people, but of course, the natural beauty of this very special place. I was very honored to have been able to serve as a representative of the 14th district for five years where I really got to focus my time and effort learning about this special community. And as your mayor, this administration is focused on addressing as many needs and concerns as we possibly can. We cannot shy away from the fact that the natural beauty of the North Shore draws so many people from all corners of the world, including our own very island, that we are literally loving this place to death. And yet, while it's a blessing to our business community that needs the foot traffic so very much, it also has an eroding effect on our people's quality of life. We are trying to strike the right balance. Parking issues has plagued our county beach parks for so many years. Right now, we are undergoing a study to see if we can revamp the way that people visit our most popular destinations that's shared by visitors and local families alike. Not only are we changing the way that visitors visit our most beloved of destinations, but we also realize that enforcement is a key piece of the puzzle to solving some of our traffic woes and parking woes as well. We realize that KPD needs to step up enforcement and with a recent bill that was passed into law, it broadens the horizons for other county workers to be able to issue parking citations. Recently, we have struck an agreement with third-party platforms like Airbnb and VRBO that they will only market legitimate vacation rentals that either have a use certificate or are operating in the designated VDAs. One of the things that we've also continue to do and implement is to decentralize our government services so that people don't have to drive all the way into Lihue to do basic services like motor vehicle registrations. Thank you. Our most recent motor vehicle registration kiosk was recently placed in Princeville Foodland. So now North Shore residents can do their grocery shopping and renew their motor vehicle registration at their convenience. We also fully realize that our entire island faces a tremendous backlog of deferred maintenance and repairs in regards to our infrastructure. And the North Shore is no different. We will be committing a tremendous amount of time, money, resources, and manpower to addressing these infrastructure issues. One of our biggest sources of revenue is our general excise tax surcharge. Our administration has been able to utilize this source of revenue to repave and resurface more miles of road than has been seen in many, many years. We recently held our groundbreaking at the Hanalei Base Yard, which will also include an area for our keiki to play with new playground equipment. We'll have new facilities for our roads crew, parks and recreation, and of course, our Ocean Safety Bureau. We have a backlog of critical infrastructure needs, mainly in regards to our roads and bridges. We have future projects to install permanent replacement of these bridges with the design of that project scheduled to start in 2023 with construction tentatively scheduled to start in 2027. We're also taking a look at improving the way that we move about in the Kilauea area, specifically Kilauea Road and Kolo Road. We are scheduled to have the final design by the end of this year with construction anticipated to start in 2023. This project will improve the way that we move about in Kilauea Town. It'll create safer ways for our Keiki, Kupuna, and all of our residents and visitors to be able to walk, bike, and it'll improve traffic flow as well. Our housing agency being led by the North Shore's very own Adam Roversi and his team are also exploring the potential for affordable housing in the Kilauea area. We recently went to council to authorize the land acquisition of roughly 24 acre parcel in Kilauea in order to construct future affordable housing and promote the gradual expansion of the Kilauea town core as called for in the Kilauea town plan. Also on the top of everyone's minds is how do we help mitigate future disasters? 
The North Shore of Koi is no stranger to adversity. And as an update to the Hanalei Hill construction work and slope restabilization project, access to the North Shore continues to be affected by the state's DOT's Hanalei Hillside repairs. Convoy schedules remain in place to allow remaining work to be conducted, including occasional closures and night work, which is expected to run to the end of September. A second phase of permanent repairs is also in the design and environmental phase, which is expected to advertise for construction bids later this year. Located at the former Hyena School, we are undergoing the Wainiha Community Resiliency Center. This shared use facility will feature a commercial kitchen, satellite offices, staging space, disaster response, gear storage, and a covered lanai for community meetings and gatherings. The final design for the facility is expected in the coming months as permitting considerations and community concerns are addressed. A community meeting will be organized in October to present the final design with construction expected to begin in the following month. There are going to be many more initiatives that I look forward to that are going to be community led and government supported. And I just wanna say thank you to all of you for taking time out of your day to be able to talk story, share our vision, hear your concerns. I really look forward to hearing your questions. Thank you.